Hi folks, my name is Adam, and I like to make tiny nerdy things, but first, oh, wait, wait, what? No, that was actually me, guys. But seriously, folks, I think it's time I dive deep into the rabbit hole of Comey Can't Communicate's newest season. So if you watch this anime, then you've probably never even noticed anything I'm about to point out, unless you've been up to date with the internet. But if you haven't, then pause this video and go watch it. I consider it peak anime, and it's 100% worth your time, so go do that and come back here so I don't leave you confused midway into the video. Are you done? Good. Because it's time to jump into this weird butthole of a mess. And man, does this thing go deep. The second season of Comey Can't Communicate ended a few weeks ago, and I just caught back up on the TV show after finally feeling comfortable to watch it again. Watching the season was great, but there were some camera shots that I noticed looked a little off. Here's a shot of the characters in an earlier episode, and then here's one from season 2 of episode 10. Notice anything strange? I didn't at first, especially since the second shot appears in slightly more than a second and a half on screen. Watching the show casually, you may not notice this unless you have superpowers, or you happen to pause the episode on the shot. And I didn't notice it at first. When I found this, I just laughed and shrugged it off, even though the drawing is an official drawing, and I can, I can draw better than the real thing. Do better, please. Okay, so that's passed. Uh, there isn't any more, is there? Wrong. Rewind the episode to the scene where, uh... Oh, 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 I can't remember how to say that. Onemine. Onemine. Onemine is inviting Komi to bake a chocolate cake with her. Komi and Onemine are moving naturally in only slight movements because they are talking and having a casual conversation, which makes sense, but you can see Tadano sitting at the desk beside Komi and, um, when he looks over at Komi, it just creeps me out and disgusts me at the same time. This again was another laugh at first, but as soon as I saw that the animators were too lazy to draw an eye twice and copied and pasted the same eye instead, all of those mistakes in the same episode, I knew something was going on. I didn't think I was alone on this, and luckily I wasn't. The community has complained about the poor animation quality and art, and I can see why they're doing this, but I don't necessarily approve of it. However, it does make sense that the fans would backlash on the animation studio for approving the episodes. But is that really all it is? Just a sloppy mistake that led to a fit in the community? No. I, I mean, sort of. That is why the drawings are there, but we still don't know why the animators switched in the first place. There are theories online suggesting that the animators were sick, that they had died, and more crazy events like that. I wanted to figure this out and knew it was going to be trouble since everyone only has theories, but I was able to find a solid conclusion on the strange mystery. To break this down so it's a little easier to swallow, the studio in charge of Comicate Communicates Visuals, OLM Studio, relied on outsourcing for episodes 10 and 11. Because of this decision, the community is worried that the series is destined for more poor quality animation in the future. It is unknown who is responsible for the sloppy animation quality, but the original animators had returned for the season finale titled It's Just White Day, and it ended the season on a sweeter note. So that sums up pretty much everything that's happened, but something keeps sticking out to me and it's not that single pimple that bothers me when I look in the mirror. Every source I've turned to has said the original animators returned for the season finale as if they had left at some point in time, but this can't be right, it just doesn't make any sense, and unfortunately, I don't have an answer for this. If I am missing any information regarding this topic or I am incorrect, please let me know in the comments below, and I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, be sure to smash that like button and subscribe so you don't miss out on any more wacky content I decide to post on the channel in the future. I will be making iceberg videos, such as the Comey Can't Communicate iceberg, the Promise Neverland iceberg, the Death Note iceberg, the No Game No Life iceberg, and much more. And if I am lazy enough to watch more anime titles, then I will be sure to do that while I am not working on a video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Thank you.